For the past century, Idaho's governors have spent their terms living in various homes in Boise. This home served as the governor's mansion for years, but we haven't had one since 1987. Right now, $1.5 million is set aside to build or purchase one. But the question is, do we need it? Yes. Why? Um, because the governor is a very important person. I would say no, I think we could uh, we could do without it. I think we should have it. I mean, most, you know, a lot of schools have one for their president. That money has been set aside in escrow so that if ever there is a point in time where the state decides that no, it is time to have a governor's residence, the money will be there. Governor Kempthorne, like Governors Bat and Andrus before him, lives in his own home, a Boise condo, but the interest on that $1.5 million, about $50,000 a year, pays for his housing allowance. How would you spend $1.5 million here in Idaho? More education, more help with the lower income people. I think we probably ought to upgrade our prison systems. I would probably spend it on our schools and our elderly. Education seemed to be on most people's minds, so we looked into what $1.5 million could do. Classroom technology spending was cut by $2 million, and $2 million is needed for achievement standards. Also, $1.5 million could go toward rebuilding some of our crumbling schools. And in this tight budget year, the cash set aside for the mansion could be targeted. Certainly, I think there is an interest in looking at all of these various pots of money that might be uh, in, in state government. Our lawmakers will do that, but until then, Idahoans are divided. If the state doesn't have one, I think that kind of looks, you know, it makes us look a little rinky-dink. In my opinion, I don't think it's necessary, but I'm not a politician. Maggie O'Meara, Idaho's News Channel 7.